Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Heidi. Due to the loss of her parents, her auntie was taking care of her. But one day, she took Heidi to her grandfather's little hut in the mountains. Grandfather Alm was a grumpy old man who lived in a small hut on the Alps. This was the first time that Heidi saw her grandfather. Telling him that she had found a job in another city, Heidi's aunt left Heidi with her grandfather and returned to the city. Grandfather Alm, who was used to living an isolated life away from people, was actually glad that his granddaughter was there, but did not show it to Heidi. The old man prepared a nice cozy bed in the attic. Heidi loved her grandfather from the first sight and happy times were about to begin for her in the mountains. When she woke up in the morning, she was introduced to her grandfather's very big dog, Joseph. Heidi loved Joseph. Then one day, when she was hiking on the hills, she met Peter the shepherd, who was grazing his goats on the meadows. I haven't seen you around here before. Yes, I just arrived. I'm going to live here with my grandfather from now on. In the following days, Peter started to take Heidi with him to graze his goats in the meadows. They started to hike together in the mountains. Everything was so new and exciting for Heidi. She learnt a lot from Peter about how to be a shepherd. Even though he didn't show it much, Grandfather Elm loved Heidi very much. Running around and having fun on the fields all day long, Heidi was very happy, but she also never forgot to help her grandfather with the housework. And one of her favourites was to bake little bread in her grandfather's wood oven. She used to take the bread she made to Peter's grandmother, and Peter's grandmother would give her fresh goat's milk in return. One day, summer was over and it was winter time. When Peter started to go to school, Heidi was left alone and eventually got bored. She was really upset that she was too small to go to school like Peter. One day, Heidi's aunt came back to take Heidi to the city. She was going to get homeschooling and work. Grandfather Alm was very upset at first and did not accept it, but when he thought about it, he realised that it would be best for Heidi to stay in the city and learn to read and write. Father, fussed Heidi. But she was convinced to go after her aunt promised her that she would be back on the mountains after a short while. Her aunt and Heidi arrived to a big mansion after a long train ride. Wow, what a big house! I'm going to stay here? Heidi met Clara, the little girl in the house. Clara could not walk because of an accident she had when she was a little child. Her aunt actually brought Heidi to this house to keep Clara company. Clara and Heidi got along really well and became best of friends. Not knowing much about the urban life, Heidi was making Clara laugh with her silly mistakes. Clara's grandmother was a very tough and strict lady. Get up, you lazy girl. It's time to study. You still have a lot to learn. Clara's grandmother was trying to teach Heidi a lot, from how to sit and stand up properly and how to use a knife and fork at the dinner table. And Heidi was even dressing like the ones who live in the city. But she wasn't feeling very comfortable in these dresses. Clara also helped Heidi to learn to read and write. Heidi did like being here with Clara and all, but she missed the mountains and her grandfather far too much. Heidi could not even eat because of her sadness. Her heart was full of longing. Clara's father and grandmother realised Heidi's sadness. After a while, they decided to send her next to her grandfather. But Clara was very sad because Heidi was leaving. To truly love someone means to want their happiness at all costs, said Grandmother. At last it was time to say goodbye. While Heidi was leaving, her aunt told her that Clara was going to come and visit her in the mountains next year. Happy to be back in the mountains, she first stopped by Peter's house on her way home. 
and gave the bread Clara sent to Peter's grandmother. Leaving her fancy dress behind, she went running home and hugged her grandfather as tight as she could. And they were happy again. A while later, Heidi was high in the clouds with happiness because of the letter she received saying that Clara was going to visit her soon. When in the Alps, Clara liked Peter a lot, but Peter was a bit hesitant because he was afraid that Heidi was going to go back to the city with Clara. Clara, Peter and Heidi were having the time of their lives on the hills. The fresh mountain air and natural foods were really good for Clara. But Peter started to get really jealous of Heidi because of her close friendship with Clara. Peter also did not like to carry Clara to her wheelchair and push her around. One day, he pushed Clara's wheelchair off from a cliff. He thought that this would solve everything. Without her wheelchair and the fresh mountain air, Clara became much stronger and she even started to walk slowly with Heidi's help. After a while, she started to take steps with no one's help. I can walk! Yay! Heidi! I owe this to you! One day, Clara's father and grandmother came to visit and when they saw Clara walking, they couldn't believe their eyes. They gave their thanks to Grandfather Alm and Heidi. At that moment, Peter felt really sorry about what he had done. He confessed to pushing Clara's wheelchair off the cliff. I apologise to all of you. What I did was so very wrong. We forgive you, right Clara? Even though what you did was wrong, we are all happy that she's walking now. <laughs> <laughs> they all laughed with joy. Clara and her family promised to come back next summer. And they all lived happily ever 